Here is just a quick video to explain the docking system for dialog boxes that we have now uh, for ePlan version 2.8 and newer. So we're all familiar with the, the standard ePlan layout. So we've got the graphics editor window in the center here. We've got the pages navigator, which is placed on the left hand side and below it, the graphical preview. This is a sort of standard layout that most people are familiar with. And everybody knows that we have navigators. So I'm going to open one of those navigators, the device navigator in this instance. And by default, it docks it between the pages and graphical preview and the graphical editor window. As before, I can use a left mouse button to press it and hold and drag. And I can undock that and I can place that anywhere on my screen. But you will see there's some additional icons that have popped up while I'm holding the left mouse button and dragging this navigator around. The, at the top, the left, the bottom and obviously to the right. And as you see, this will allow me to dock the navigator at the top left, bottom or right, taking up the whole width or height of the plan window. Then in the middle, we've got an arrangement of those similar icons. And this time the, the top left, right, bottom, sorry, and right will dock this navigator within the width or height of the current window. So at the moment we're currently in the uh, graphics editor window. So the width is limited to that width of that editor window. Uh, however, I'm going to place it over on the left hand side. So we'll dock it in between the page navigator back where it where it was originally. Now that works really nicely. If you open another navigator, so the thermal strip navigator this time, again, it's docked it there, let me drag that out. And again, I get the same same options. You see the the top and bottom options again still limited to this this particular window so it's only as wide as the, the graphical editor if i move however over to the device navigator we get that same arrangement of icons again and this time it's going to dock it to the left underneath to the right and above the current navigator so you see it limits its width here to the same width as the device navigator or I can go to the one in the center. And when I let go of the left mouse button, that's now docked that terminal strip navigator as a tab in a common window. So we say here we've got the two tabs, devices and terminal strips. And I can do that with more navigators as I want. So let's find the cable navigator maybe. And that came in separate. I'm going to dock that one as well. So now you see we've got three navigators. If you want to remove one of those navigators from that docking, you just select it, hold the left mouse button down, and you can move it out. I'm going to put it back in. If you want to close it, you just use the, the red X in the top of the, the window. And that closes the current navigator that you're selected. <clears throat> and you can select the title bar and drag them as a group. As you see there. This allows you to, to make much better use of the screen area that you have. And this positioning is also saved by the workspace as normal. Hope that was useful. Thank you very much.